Hey, hello everybody, one man wrote to me, hey Igor, you should learn English with person called Ricky Gervals, named by it, and today we're gonna do this, thank you a lot for your recommendation, my dear Joe D, it is our viewer, and this channel is about my learning process, and I'm a Russian man who brings value through my own experiences, and I have been learning English for two years, and right now we are on our progress, on our our journey and let's continue it with uh, this video maybe I will understand something maybe I will not but it is with subtitles and it makes it easier and uh, it is nice by the way they will use a British accent or something like this we'll look at this maybe we uh, can uh, also guess what kind of accent of England it is Maybe it will be Cockney, maybe it will be Welsh, maybe it will be Irish, Irish, maybe something else. Let's go. Manuscripts, a new landmark in human comprehension. Yes, I want to improve it. Hello, and welcome to Learn English with Ricky Gervais. He speaks RP, I think. I'm Ricky Gervais. With me, Carl Pilkington. <laughs> I won't be speaking your language. I won't be translating what I say. I'll just be speaking English, okay? The translation will come up on the bottom of the screen. Lesson one, okay? This is my friend, Carl Pilkington. I understand. He it. is bold. Like he is bold. Jason Statham. He has no hair. Carl Pilkington has no hair. Yeah, I know. They can see I've got no hair. No, I know. Well, what, what do they need to know that for? If they learn a, a language, yeah. bold isn't a, bo a bold head isn't isn't that important. Teach him how to ask for bread or milk. We'll get to that. But this is about sort of friendship and family, you know. One moment, I, I want to say that uh, it is about human body, and uh, they have different accents, by the way. This left man has RP, and right has kind of more faster, like American, a bit. So, it's all useful. There's so many words, you know, they might as well start somewhere. There's if... too many words. No, no, he's not... He's uh, not uh, American, he speaks uh, e English, England English, okay. Sorry for stopping, yes, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Lot of words. <laughs> so you say it, Carl Pilkington is bold. Carl Pilkington has got a head like a fucking orange. Right, I, I really don't know why they need to... Carl Pickinger has got a head like has a... Has got a head like a... A head like a fucking orange. orange. I, I really don't know why they need to learn this. Because they might need to say that one day. No, but I get enough abuse now from English people. I don't want Chinese suddenly turning up going, a bold fucking orange. A <laughs> <laughs> bold fucking orange. Bold fucking orange. Okay, I learned it. Teach him how to say milk. I need milk. Milk for tea. For Coffee. tea. Coffee. Teach him useful stuff. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll go and teach him something then. Who am I talking to? People around the world, they can't speak English yet. So what are they... Well, so, Chinese. Chinese well, doesn't are the do, Okay, what? I've been to China and none of them know English. Right. So they need to learn English. Okay. So... Um, what would they want to know? You see, they don't need to know about milk because they don't like milk. They think English people smell of milk. They smell of milk. <laughs> they smell of milk. And uh, about milk, I heard one more comedian and he said that uh, milk smells like dick. Smell. What does smell mean, Carl? Smell. Um, stink. Fucking hell, you smell. Rank. <laughs> rank? What's rank. rank? So, you've got a Chinese fella, he's coming over here, and he's learned the word rank, meaning you stink. Rank. Smell. 
Rank is so you stink, yes? Stank. Stunk. Stunk. <laughs> That's stunk. That's stunk. Give an example. Yes. Um. You smell. You shit. <laughs> Because you told me you said they want to know about smell. Yeah, right. But why are you teaching them without prepositions and proper grammar? Why are you teaching them to speak like this? Hmm, stink, you shit. Why are you teaching them? Is it correct to speak this way? Like, uh, you stink, you, you shit. Like, I was watching a bit like... Uh, it is like from Matilda book. We can tell to her, like, you shit, you stink. And uh, but she's clever, and uh, we can say it about their family, or maybe about Miss Trunk Trunch Bull. Trunch Bull, it is this girl who is handy, this Matilda. Like, you shit. And uh, she likes to use this kind of words in uh, here. She likes to use. Uh, one moment. What's her name? Niggle. Niggle what? Niggle Hicks. Niggle uh, Hicks what? Da, 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 da. That's it, unless we da, da, da. need to find it. Sorry, sorry for this. He said, Doctor, don't argue with me, boy, or I'll make you stand on your head. How do as you're told? Now you do as you're told. Okay? Now stay where you are, boy, while I test you on your spelling to see if you learned anything at all this past week, you shit. And uh, it is about uh, a Roald Dahl book. Okay, sorry, excuse me again. To speak, uh, to just speak proper English. Right, okay then. Um, Always speak proper English. Okay, tell them. Um, so what, what do they want to know? Well, what's, what smell mean? This, okay, smell. This is about, so we're featuring okay, the word okay, right, smell. Right. Smell. This is about the word smell. Right, when something smells, they know what it means. It's when something um, stinks. <laughs> when it well, no, it doesn't always mean that. Because it's, it's also a oh, verb. Right, a nice smell. It's also a verb to smell. It's a verb. Smell is a verb. Yes, but what they've got to remember is if they go up to someone and go, you smell, it's not always positive. You right. wouldn't, you, you, you say you smell nice. Right. But if you say you smell, they'll get a smack in the face. Smack in the face. Smack in the smack face. Smack in the face. What is smack? It is a punch, yes? Carl, what's a smack in the face? Or not. When someone thumps you, thump. Thump. <laughs> I know what is thumb. It is our big finger. <laughs> Fat finger. English lesson ever. Right, okay. Um, do you... <laughs> okay. What would they want to let you see? That's why we've got to focus on. Are we focusing on Chinese? No. Well, Just... we should because different people want different things. Right. So what would Chinese want? They come to England. Right. What do they want? Why are you talking to me like I can't understand? Because English I'm now? trying to think how what to be clear to them. Okay. So I'm okay. dropping out. So forget where they come from, wherever they come from in the world, they all want the same things. No, okay? but but words don't mean the same thing. At certain places, there's people where it stinks in the world. They wouldn't come to England and need to say it smells because they're from a smellier place. No, they're not. Yes, they are. <laughs> milk. Let's do milk. Okay, let's do milk for anyone who isn't English. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll um, okay. We will act out a scenario now where you might need milk. Okay, okay. Hello, Carl. All right. Would you like a cup of tea? Yeah. Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, strong. What tea bags have you got? <laughs> Strong what is tea that bag? Is a, I know is what a, is. That is a question I ask. <laughs> tea bag it is specific uh, like a preparation for your tea. Because it all depends on the amount of milk. Do you have Thai foo? That means more milk. Thai foo. <laughs> thai foo does not mean more milk. No, it's a. I know what is typhoon, like a. Uh, be a man, ta -ta 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 -ta. be a man, great typhoon, be a man, like song from Mulan. Very strong tea bag. Right. Twinings, little bit. This of isn't, they don't need to know the details. This isn't a travel guide. This is just, 
This is English for people right, who can't again, speak English. Start again. Okay. Then. Hello, Carl. Oh yeah. Would you like a cup of tea? Yeah, I'd love one. I'm gasping. How do you like? Gasping. Like it. Strong, no sugar. Tea bag. Ah, strong. It is. It means that so like a hard prepared like tea bag will be there for two hours or and something like this. Okay. Yeah, tea bag, yeah. <laughs> nice Mac Believe game. Well, that should be alright. Would you like some milk? Just a drop. A drop, not much. Would you like semi skimmed milk? Yeah. Skim semi skimmed milk. Semi skimmed means that not super with. Um, with uh, what's the name of it? It is kind of we have carbines, we have proteins, and we have uh, I don't know what's the name of it. It is kind of uh, oil, oilish thing, oilish looking thing. Whoa. Carl is enjoying his tea. He had it strong with a drop of milk. So that's the basics. Uh, uh, in England, we like to drink tea. We drink tea. We also drink coffee. We also drink beer. Beer. Let's go shopping. Let's go shopping. So uh, I'll just come into a shop. Okay. Drink. Afternoon. Hello. Hiya. I want a fish. What sort of fish do you want? We've got loads. What sort of fish are there? Loads. I haven't got time, to be honest. You've come in at a busy time. Have a look and come back to me. And I don't know what... What type of fish is this? That's a, a kipper. Kipper. OK. A kipper. What's a kipper? Chinese and Japanese know fish really well. Okay. They don't need <laughs> stop <laughs> thinking we're just talking to Chinese and Japanese. I don't know where the Japanese came from. It's, it's, it was just Chinese people. This is for anyone who wants to learn English anywhere around the world. Yes, there I don't know what's... There might be Spanish, there might be French, there might be German. Okay? Why do you only care about the Chinese <laughs> learning about this? Because most Spanish people can speak English. They've been taught it. But right. all right, kipper. Okay. It's a fish. It's sort of... Um, a fishy sort of fish. There's some fish that's more meaty. Tuna. What's but they're the most meaty. What sort of thing are you after today? Is this for you or for someone else? This is for me. I'd like to... Nice phrase. After. After it is not like a... Look. One interesting moment in, Engli in English. I want to say. Some fish that's more meaty. Tuna. What Tuna. sort of thing are you after today? What sort of thing are you after today? Are you after? After. After means uh, looking for. Yes? Because I know one meaning. It is like after this situation. Or maybe go after me. Like, or repeat after me. It means that uh, like uh, for something. Repeat uh, for something. And you after. You are chasing something. You are trying to find something. Yes? Is this for you or for someone else? This is for me. I'd like to buy a fish, please. Right, but, you've, but surely you know what kipper is. Look at it. <laughs> Look at the fish. Here Look it's called it. kipper. kipper. Where are you from? I don't speak English. <laughs> I'd just wrap any old shit up and give it... <laughs> I'd just wrap any old shit up and give it to you. You like this. <laughs> Tenor. Rip you off. Tenor. Because tenor, what is tenor? Because I'm busy, and that's what happens in this country. That's what they want to be careful of, if they're watching this. If you come into England, don't be ripped off. Rip off. Cond. Cond. Rip off, cond. What is cond? Need to open a translator. One moment, cond. 
can't uh, persuade someone to do or believe something typically by use of deception. Okay, and uh, rip off it is synonym, yes? Rip off. Yes, again, a fraud or swindle, especially something that is grossly overpriced. Understood. Can't. Taken advantage of. Taken advantage of, I know. Um, Done up like a kipper. Done up like a keeper. Is it one more word? Is it item? Done up like a keeper. Done up like a keeper. Done up like a keeper. What? Urban dictionary. Therefore, to be done or stitched up like a keeper clearly means to be dubbed or tricked by false information that was there for all to see. Okay. Look at this foreigner. I done him up like a kipper. This is when English gets complicated because kipper, a lot of English words, can mean many things. Exactly. Um, where? Where? <laughs> Same word, different thing. Wearing. Where have you been? I'm wearing a jumper. Where have you been? Where? Jumper is uh, this his type of cloth. One like word, hoodie. two meanings. At the spa. Okay. Hello. I'd like to book an appointment for a treatment. Okay. When are you? Um, when are you thinking? Um. We're busy all today. Tomorrow. <laughs> Can we just do it today? Can it just be available now? Can't we just do it that it's available now? There's nothing... It's, well, all it's... right, I can fit you in. Someone hasn't turned up yet, so we can get you in sort of in 10 minutes. Okay. I like how they speak okay. Okay, okay, okay. How to speak okay, 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 okay. Like they speak it. It's kind of interesting. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Right. Okay. <clears throat> what would you like? Um, I would like a back crack and sack waxing, please. Back. One moment. Back waxing. crack and sack waxing, please. I know what is back. Back it is our... Like, uh, behind us. Crack and sack. Sack, it is, uh, like, a specific thing. Waxing it is kind of inside of our our ears. Please. I need to decide. I would like my back waxed, my crack waxed. Crack. And my sack waxed. Sack. Ah, it is uh, sack of balls. Right. Do you do the treatments yourself? No. I'd like you to. Well, I can't. Why not? One moment, need to understand what is crack. Crack. Crack, 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 crack. A line of the surface of something a lock which is split without breaking into separate parts. Is it S? Or what? Uh, because I have to be on reception, taking calls. Well, okay. You can't request who's doing your sack, your crack, <laughs> or your back. There's a woman in the back who does your crack. <laughs> well, um... <laughs> fucking insane. Right, that's enough. Wait, no, I don't know what we're doing. I don't know who's going to learn anything. Wait, from wait, this. wait, wait. Okay. So, okay, wait, okay. Okay. Well, ask me some questions. About, okay. Well, I, I don't okay. have to ask you any questions. I said okay. you can be going in 10 minutes. Okay. I'm not doing it. I'm working. Actually, I'm not paid or qualified to be sorting your wait, arse out. Wait, okay, wait, your arse wait. Out. okay. <laughs> to be sorting Actually, your arse out. Actually, thinking about it, the hair on my crack hasn't grown back, nor has the hair on my back. But my sack is very hairy. Wait, my sack is very hairy. Um, I, I don't need my back waxed or my crack waxed, but I need my sack waxed. Right. Now. Ah, I understood. Waxing. Waxing means that uh, he needs depilation. Yes, like uh, deleting of hair. I'm surprised you haven't done it yourself. Because it's the back and the crack that's the difficult bit. The sack you can do yourself. Oh. And to be honest, it should all be growing at the same time. 
No. So there's something wrong with you. No. You've got a hairy bollock. <laughs> when you're back... Bollock. Yes, your back is lovely and bold. Right. You don't need it doing. Bold. Bold. <laughs> my, my back is bold. Like yeah. fucking orange. My crack is bold. My sack needs waxing. Right. Um, right. It's quite an emergency. My balls are very hairy. Can I have them waxed, please? Yes. How much just for the balls? <laughs> 15 pounds. For 15 two. pounds? For the both. For two. Okay, yes. that's good. So, 7 50 each. It's 7 50 Yeah, but we don't split it. That's, that's the price. Yes, yes. You can't have one done. No, it's I have 15 two. Pounds. I have two balls. I have two balls. How many balls do you have, Carl? Two. <laughs> Carl has two balls. <laughs> are your balls hairy? Average. Okay. Which is strange because Carl's balls are hairy, but he is bald on his head. His head looks like a ball. <laughs> his head looks like a bald testicle. Carl has a head like a bald testicle. Why do people use testicles so much in stand up comedy? Testicles. Uh... What's the sound? Is, is testicle a funny word or what? Uh, what's the difference like uh, between testicle and ball? I understand what is testicles. Testicles is like our balls. It's our penis, uh, small, uh, this uh, bally thing. Like uh, when we play ping pong. Yes. And uh, it is another name of it. Ping pong ball. Testicle. Is testicle. But his testicles aren't bald. Aren't bald. Mm -hmm. Okay. How long will it take to wax my balls? Uh, ten minutes. Ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So it's um, fifteen pounds and ten minutes. Um, can you do it? Can you can you do it now, please? No, I won't be doing it. You'll Why? be meeting Leslie in the back room. Uh, oh, I don't really... I'm a little bit shy. I know you. Could you... You don't know me. You've just turned up. Could you wax my balls? No! I'm not waxing your balls. Bollocks. Uh, scrotum. Scrotum. Uh, scrotum. Scrotum. Ah, a pouch of skin containing the testicles. Okay. Scrotum. Um, what else is the Test eye. Test eye. <laughs> one done. Test I. Test. Test. No, we don't have this word. Um, what else is the test I? Test I. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it is like a. Done. It is like. Uh, test I. It is uh, like a. Uh, two testicles, yes. Or is it part of skin? Bollocks. Bollocks. Bollocks need to... Uh, again, bollocks it is... What is it? Bollocks. Yes, I understood. Bo balls, testicles, bollocks, clutch also we have. Clutch. Okay. Sack. Sack. <laughs> uh, oh. What else is this? Oh. Okay, okay, right. we've done Go that on. waxing. Okay. At the doctor's. Hello, doctor. Hello. I have a pain. Okay, what's where, whereabouts is the pain? My anus. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> None of this is worth using learning in a language. You go home. If you're ill, go home. No, if if, if a foreign fella is in this country... He can and they... go to the doctors and use our, our, our NHS system if he had an achy arse. He'd get on the first flight home. Okay, what have I learned today? I learned uh, words... Uh, testicles? Testi? Balok? Balok, yes. Fucking orange hat. Orange bolt. You shit. Waxing. Crack. And uh, I think that's all. Why aren't you going travelling? 
and uh, tuna, yeah, tuna, all... and uh, some some of the sh some of fish again. Yes. yes. Right. We'll see London. Instead of worrying about your airy bollocks, see bollocks. the London Eye. The London Eye. <laughs> the London Eye. Okay. Is it bridge? Tower of London. Oh, tower. These are things that are going to be useful to them. Okay. Tower of London. London Eye. Buckingham Palace. London Eye, Buckingham Palace. London Eye, is it like a Eye of Sauron? The Queen. I've never been on holiday and had to have my anus seen to. I haven't had to have it seen to whilst I'm here, at home. Give them useful words. Fromage. Fromage. What is fromage? What is it? Fromage. What is it? Jeez, it is a French word. Mini. Almond situation place OC advantages coup fit chiante. Oh no. What's the name of it? Fromage. Translation. Cheese. Ah, okay. Fromage. <laughs> Why are you teaching them a French word if we're teaching them English? I'm just saying useful phrases. Right. Uh, I've got a headache. Um, okay. What would you do? Okay. What scenario would you do to teach them? Who Carl are you? will now teach you a useful scenario. Yeah, who are you? Any, anyone you useful want to be. Useful scenario. What do you want to do? The bins haven't been emptied. Who? Uh, and, and, okay. Who are you? You're making this scenario up. This so who, is your. So who are you then? The council. It's up to you. Right. You're my neighbour. Okay. Why do you keep putting bins out? The bin men doesn't come till Thursday. You keep putting bins I'm out. I'm sorry, Carl. I'm very sorry. I've had a I'm very sorry. Up this morning. It's the worst it's ever been. I've got to distend it. Distend it. I've got a prolapse that I've distended my testicles today. Very low because I'm old. I'm lactating. Yeah, all right. Can you just put the bins dated. out on the Thursday? I can't do that. Put my, my balls yeah. are so low because I'm an old man. But can you put the bins out on a third? The bin men doesn't come till a Thursday. It's Tuesday. You're putting bins out too early. There's foxes getting at them. There's shit all over the place. There's dirty underpants you keep putting in the bin. I've told you it attracts foxes. Stop putting the fucking bins out two, two fucking days early when they've got to sit there and it attracts shit. I'm trying to sell me flat. These dirty, shitty undies all over the fucking pavement. <laughs> This has happened to you, hasn't it? Fucking. Yeah, ours, yeah. <laughs> did you really? Yeah, ours. What did you they do? They don't give a shit. They don't give a <laughs> shit. <laughs> Their accent uh, looks, uh, sounds like accent of uh, Peaky Blinders. Like, uh, no fucking fighting. Fighting. Fucking. Okay, end of lesson one. We hope that's been useful I for hope. you. So when you visit England, you can talk just like an Englishman. Thank you for learning English with Ricky Gervais and Carl Pilkington. See ya. Thank you. See ya. What's the, what's the accent of uh, this uh, second See person? Ya. Carl Pilkington. Carl, Carl Pink, Pink, Pilkington speaks really fast but he's londoner and uh, or something like uh, englishman and what's his accent i understand that left person spoke in a rp kind of maybe but second what's his accent let me know please uh, in the description below in the comment section okay what have i understood i understood that it was like a joking joking experience of uh, them they were speaking about stuff of testicles they were speaking about testi uh, about bollock about crack about uh, tower eye tower eye maybe it is kind of uh, real true word tower eye london eye and uh, thank you a lot for recommendation for joe d now we have more understanding of english accents by uh, mm, 
what have I said? Okay, <laughs> thank you a lot. I I lost my uh, lost my attention, and uh, thank you a lot for everybody who wrote uh, comments. It is so pleasing, and I will answer to you today. Yes, you can write your own, and I will answer to them too. Bye bye. Be cool and awesome, Professor Lady.